Sternite Industries India Limited is the principal subsidiary of Vedanta Resources PLC, which is a London Stock Exchange listed diversified conglomerate dealing in metals, mining and power. It is also India's largest metals and mining company based on revenues. Vedanta Resources, headed by Sri Anil Agarwal, has over 30,000 employees across the geographies and revenues in excess of $10 billion. Sterlite's principal operating companies comprise Hindustan Zinc Limited with integrated zinc, lead and silver operations. Bharat Aluminium Company Limited with aluminium and alumina operations. Sterlite Energy Limited with commercial power generation business. Sterlite Zinc International Operations. Fujera Gold. Copper Mines of Tasmania and Sterlite Copper. Sterlite Copper has a vision to be the world's leading copper producer delivering sustainable value to all its stakeholders by leveraging technology and best practices. Sterlite Copper has won many awards in various areas like environment, quality, human resources, corporate social responsibility, logistics, energy efficiency, water efficiency, etc. The copper business comprises smelting and processing of copper and production of its byproducts. The operations include smelter, refinery, sulfuric acid plant, phosphoric acid plant and copper rod plant at Tutukorin in Tamil Nadu and a refinery and two copper rod plants at Silvassa in the Union Territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli in Western India. In addition, they own the Mount Lyell copper mine at Tasmania in Australia which produces a clean concentrate that is valuable in the smelting process. Sterlite Copper's main products include copper cathode and continuous cast rods. Its byproducts are sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, hydrofluorosilicic acid, gypsum, ferrosand and slime. Copper concentrates from Sterlite's copper mine are blended with bought out concentrates from other sources and treated to get optimum results. The smelter is based on a proven energy efficient and environment friendly technology namely ISAR process from Xtrata Australia. Latest version of CS3000 distributed control system controls the entire copper smelter. The anode produced by the smelters is processed in the Silvasa and Tutukorin refineries using ISA process technology sourced from Xtrata Australia. The refineries convert copper anodes to electrolytic grade copper cathodes of 99.99% purity. Cathodes are then automatically washed, stripped and packed. An acid purification plant contributes to the purification of the electrolyte, significantly enhancing the quality of the cathodes. During the electro refining process, precious metals like gold, silver and platinum present in the anode settle down at the bottom of the cells along with other impurities and form sludge. Its applications include continuous cast copper rods, copper wire bars, bus bars, billets, ingots, molds and other semis, copper based alloys and downstream products, copper tubes, strips and foils. Sterlite Copper is one of two custom smelters in India and has set up two continuous cast copper rods units. The continuous cast copper rod plants are based on technology and equipment from continuous properzi, Italy. The plants have total annual capacity of 240,000 tons. Its applications include jelly filled telephone cables, magnetic wires and winding wires, power cables, automobile wire harness, communication cables, house wiring, conductors, rounds and flats, and transformers. 
One cannot imagine a life without copper. Starting from industrial usage to day-to-day -day household activities, copper plays an important role in our life. The sulfur dioxide gases generated in the smelting process are collected and ducted to the sulfuric acid plant. Set up with basic engineering from Werner Chemetics, Canada, the plant is based on the absorption process known as DCDA and has a designed capacity to produce 1,600 tons of sulfuric acid per day. There are many different sulfuric acid users in the industry as it is one of the least expensive acids in the world. The uses of sulfuric acid vary from fertilizers to battery and as industrial catalysts. Sulfuric acid is reacted with rock phosphate in the phosphoric acid plant to produce phosphoric acid. The plant has an installed capacity to produce 180,000 tons of phosphoric acid per annum. Its application in various industries, ranging from metallurgy to the food industry, make this a popular acid. Gypsum is primarily used as a finish for walls and ceilings, known in construction as drywall, as a plaster ingredient. Copper slag, also known as ferro-sand, generated during pyrometallurgical production of copper from copper concentrates, is non-leachable, non-toxic and possesses properties similar to natural aggregates. Some of the established applications of slag are cement and concrete manufacturing, landfill, ballast, abrasive, aggregate for road and roofing application, granules, glass, tiles, etc. At Sterlite Copper, environmental management is an ongoing effort to improve the performance in achieving the long-term goal of environmental sustainability, thereby resulting in a healthy and ever-improving triple bottom line. As part of the safety system at Sterlite, all the contract workers and Sterlite employees are given full-fledged safety induction before they enter the worksite. Sterlite also provides the following personal protective equipments to all the employees to ensure safety on work. Safety helmet, respirator, goggles, safety shoes, earplug, gloves. For Sterlite, the health of both employees and contract labor is of utmost importance and do not compromise on improving the occupational health conditions. At Sterlite, Community is one of the most important stakeholders, forming a key pillar to achieving success in their sustainability journey. They believe that their core concept of changing lives can help bring miracles in the day-to-day -day lives of people living in the rural and coastal areas of Tutikorin and Silvasa. At Sterlite, they strive to improve the quality of life in and around their operations in a way that promotes self-reliance. Education, health, women empowerment and rural infrastructure are the pillars on which their corporate social responsibility programs are based to deliver a better tomorrow for women, children and youth. The activities aim to benefit the community as a whole so that each and every person experiences the miracle of a vibrant, self-supporting community. As part of social responsibility, Sterlite Copper runs a plethora of programs that seek to improve the well-being of the populace, starting right from inducing a behavioral change to creating a natural tendency to healthy habits. As a regional specific social initiative, Coastal Livelihood Project was launched to promote technical skills among coastal youth in Tutikorin, which enables them to get employment in different fields with the support of NGOs. Sterlite Women Empowerment Project, also called SWEP, envisages social and economic empowerment of women. 1,074 self-help groups have been formed covering 15,000 rural women from marginalized sections of society. 
More than 151 groups have taken up profitable income generation activities. In a nutshell, here is Starlight, who is a responsible corporate citizen, who not only takes care of investors' needs alone, but includes the locality, community, environment and society under their stakeholder umbrella and marching successfully towards a strong nation-building exercise.